Hey, what's going on everybody? C. Jitty here about to give you a very quick demonstration of my Vase Technologies IVIC, which is the in-vehicle info infotainment center um, add-on that uh, Vase Technologies makes for Lexus and Toyota vehicles, and um, hopefully uh, more uh, coming soon. But basically, uh, this is a, my car is a 2008 Lexus LS600 hybrid. And the cool thing about this feature is it's totally plug and play. There's no splicing, no cutting, nothing like that. It's all plug and play with uh, very good high quality harnesses. So kudos to Vase on that. So anyway, let me show you a very, like it's a very brief demonstration on how this whole setup works. Um, everything's all hooked up. Uh, it's all behind the dashboard. But what happens is uh, you have your uh, phone that's you have a phone that's compatible with the system and uh, that's I think a good amount of phones that are HDMI compliant uh, or they have HDMI out feature uh, I have a Galaxy Note 2 from AT&T um, on LTE network and basically all I do is I get my cable and I plug it up to the bottom this is connected to the IVIC so I basically plug up the bottom of the phone and the phone the phone sees the connection rotates the screen automatically and turns the screen off because the when the when the IVIC's running or when your phone's running the HDMI connection it takes up a lot of resources so it's draining faster than it can charge um, so that's a good feature to have that screen turn off so that app um, makes that a lot easier so anyway we're back up here on the screen and you can see I still have the stock nav but to get over to my IVIC all I have to do is hit this this AUGS button and it'll basically come up with the warning um, and it'll come off automatically there we go so it's seeing the source and right now um, and it's doing all its connections and everything there's a Bluetooth connection that goes to the IVIC as well to control the touchscreen functionality uh, of the system and it automatically pops up with my quick easy apps for my media so I'll go ahead and bypass that for a second but the other main feature I wanted to show you real fast is I bought this nine dollar mouse off of eBay it's a nine dollar Bluetooth mouse and the cool thing about the Galaxy phones and some of the other newer smartphones is that it can handle multiple Bluetooth devices at once so I have my car Bluetooth for my phone the iVic connection for Bluetooth and now this Bluetooth mouse and what makes this so cool is I can basically now use the mouse on my screen uh, similar to like the new Lexus vehicles uh, that have that uh, small mouse system but this is a more uh, robust featured mouse uh, all the functionality is there uh, including uh, using the scroller wheel uh, to basically go back and forth on your home screen by just moving the scroller wheel so I can go up here and pick whatever apps I want to do so I can go to my app uh, selection here use my scroll wheel so if I want to, if I'm driving and I'm going to miss my Laker game, I can just click on the NBA Game Time app, and if there's a live game going on, I can basically go and click that. Um, I'll go ahead and pull up a an archive game from the other day, and here we go. And it'll take a minute to buffer. I'm on the Wi-Fi here at the house, but it's kind of a weak signal in the garage, so we'll see how it does. Okay, it's come up. I'm going to turn the volume up on my knob here on my factory head unit. Seemingly every other month, but this is a pretty big one. He could pass Wilt Chamberlain to get the fourth. Only three guys will be above him. So, essentially, I can stream TV while I'm driving the car, Netflix, movies that are stored on my phone, whatever I want to do. Essentially, whatever's on my phone, I can do now in my car, on my car screen. So now here's another cool feature about the mouse. So I can come up here to my screen and if I have my music playing uh, I can basically go here and get to my music and I can use the back button if I want to get back to what's going on on my uh, music app which was let's see which would be the music player app there we go so I'm playing some music now Like I said, everything still functions 
Uh, I can use the IVIC built-in controls here to go back to my home screen, use the back feature, um, just like that. See, and then I can get to my list of music. And then I can go back to my mouse and then use my scroll wheel. Like I said, a little $9 mouse and it does all this. It's pretty cool. And then I can click back and then I can go to whatever other apps I want to do. So if I want to go to my navigation, I can click on that. Um, I can go up here to my text messaging. You know, pretty much I can go to the internet. So if I want to search flights, I can go to kayak. You know, and I can go here and search all kinds of stuff, whatever I want to do. Click back. And like I said, the, now the, here's the only drawback with the IVIC, which isn't really a drawback. It's more or less, um, I guess, it'd be a nice to have, but um, you can't, you can't operate your factory net, uh, factory satellite radio or factory FM uh, while you're using the IVIC because the IVIC plugs into the back of the head unit and it sees it as an additional source, like a CD changer. So you, you know, you would never be able to play your satellite and your FM radio on your head unit at the same time so it's the same concept but um, maybe down the road they'll figure out a way to split the signal to the nav screen to allow that to happen which would be kind of kind of neat but anyway this is uh, like I said a very high level demo of the functionality of the IVIC I think it's one of the best things you can do to upgrade your interior of your Lexus or Toyota vehicle if you have a navigation system that supports it and uh, if you have any questions or anything uh, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll respond um, uh, I could go on and on for hours with what this thing can do, but uh, you get the basic idea. Whatever you can do on your phone, you can do in your car now, and that's a, that's a pretty cool feature to have. So any questions, let me know. Hope this helps. Thanks. CGD out.